I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! <laughs> Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Huh. You wanna talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. 
I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. You've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Best you be going, son. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my God. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up when I see a big old boat staring me down. So what do I do? Then I grab my odd six from the trunk Come and set in. my sights. What do you mean? 
we've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. I guess that makes sense, but we need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. Especially Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep. Yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. <laughs> 